Smith, B95 Allstate Road. Uh, my, I have really just one question because some of my other questions were already answered about Monarch and so on. Uh, I've been at a lot of the meetings since June, and this conversation has come up about EMS. Okay, and I, a lot of the, the biggest thing I heard was it was going to be the cost of health care. Is that really the reason? Is that really the reason why we're looking at to uh, disband the EMS? There's an entire range of issues that, that account for that. But it's has not, it not, not been said? Cost. Has it not been said? It's a big part of it is Obamacare starting January 1st. That is one part of it. Okay. My next question is, now that we're in January, how many of the employees of the EMS are affected by this? None. Go on. Uh, there were about seven employees that were in excess of the 30 hours a week pursuant to Obamacare, Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. And the look back period is a year. And the penalty for that is based on how many full-time employees you have, not based on how many people violate the Affordable Care Act regulations. Right, because I'm very much aware of that because right. in my job, okay, I have to be very much up to date on the Affordable Care Act for my clients and so on and so forth, okay? So I'm very, I'm, and also I'll be the first to admit, as most, as most probably no one in this country, including our congressmen, have read the Affordable Care Act because it's so lengthy, okay? So, but I, I go to different synopsis and seminars and so on on it to try and get a pretty good understanding. Now, since January 1st, have we added these people to health insurance? No. And why? There is no budgetary provision for it, and we are still in negotiations with their union on the contract. But the federal government says that they have to if they work more than 30 hours. If I went to ShopRite and they put me on a, on a schedule for 33 hours, they have to provide health insurance. Right, but there are no budgetary provision for it right now. And we are, we are, they are expected to stay under that here. What, 29? We're trying. Miriam has been working oh, sure. very hard. Uh, every every small business under. is. Okay, they're, they're trying to hire as many part-timers that they can not to have to afford this. Uh, you know, have, uh, carry this expense. Okay, that, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.